The town is contemplating the introduction of a national cyberspace ID. The government claims that the ID will be introduced to enhance data security and to protect the personal information of its citizens. However, this proposal has sparked apprehensions amongst legal experts who fear that it could lead to increased surveillance and social control. And according to a report, China's Ministry of Public Security and the Cyberspace Administration has released draft regulations suggesting that a cyberspace ID could actually help users verify their identities online without revealing some sensitive personal details to internet service providers. The promise system, which is voluntary, includes two types of digital IDs, one comprising a series of letters and numbers, and another is a digital authentication credential. And this initiative is designed to safeguard citizens' personal information and to reduce the over-collection and retention of data such as name and date of birth by internet platforms. And although analysts acknowledge that a unified network ID could streamline authentication during the online transactions and minimize the misuse of personal information, it could also intensify the monitoring of individuals' online activities by the government. They warn that this could also lead to a centralized system that is capable of tracking and analyzing an individual's online behavior, which can lead to significant social risks. The critics, including Lao Dongyan, a criminal law professor at China's Xinhua University, have questioned the true aim of this proposal. She said, and I quote, the true intention is to regulate people's behavior online. Now, the claim of protecting personal information is merely a facade, at least not the primary goal. And analysts are also very sceptical about the voluntary nature of the cyberspace ID policy and believe that widespread adoption may eventually become mandatory despite initial claims of user choice by the government of China. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.